When it comes to ticks in Maine, no month is off limits. The ticks have actually started in southern Maine as early as late February. And no county is either. Every milder year we have gives them a little bit more of a leg up to be incrementally moving themselves further and further up the state. Um, when deer ticks are out, they're going to be a little bit larger. This is Chuck Lubelzik. He's a vector ecologist with the Vector Born Disease Lab at the Maine Health Institute for Research. Which is a fancy way of saying that I go out and hunt in the woods for ticks and mosquitoes. <laughs> you do the job that many people don't want to do. But they do, it. but I love it. <laughs> we'll go out in the field and we have a really high tech method of dragging a cloth through the woods which is duct taped to a pole. From the field to the lab. Uh, DNA testing. Because of mild winters, he says they now test ticks from all over the state because their population has grown. When 20 years ago, his work was mostly in southern Maine. What we're seeing now, northern Maine, uh, down east Maine, areas such as Jackman over to Holton. Robert Smith is a director of the Vector Born Disease Lab here and an infectious disease physician. As we start to see more people with the diseases, we've moved out of the field and into the hospital to a higher degree. He says Lyme disease is still the most common here in Maine, but we are starting to see cases of the Powassan virus, which they have no treatment for. That's gotten attention because it's a devastating neurologic disease, fortunately very rare. He says globally, climate change is an X factor in all vector-borne diseases. It destabilizes populations, so people are moving from places where they have health care to places they don't, or they're uh, moving to places with no infrastructure. It's changed how animals and humans live. Specifically in Maine, mild winters mean deer survive better, and so do the ticks that feed off of them. Which means that the ticks, again, have, have a better chance and a leg up, you know, starting next spring. Lubelzik says the economy is also a factor. Ticks can survive on livestock, carrying them from one continent to another. I mean, the world's very small now, and, and within two days, you can make your way across the entire planet. Smith and Lou Belzik say their work is now focused on another tick on the horizon that could be a problem soon, the Lone Star Tick. So it's slowly incrementally moving its way up the eastern seaboard and will probably make its way to New Hampshire in Maine at some point. So one of the questions will be in the next 20, 30 years with the climate warming is will that tick become a major pest, a major nuisance and, and source of disease in Maine as well. For Maine's Total Coverage, I'm Kathleen Jordan. So it's important to protect yourself. Wear proper clothing, spray bug spray, and double check yourself when you get home. And of course, don't forget your pets.